Hello guys, welcome back. After a long period of waiting, the update to VMware Fusion on macOS has finally dropped. Although this version comes with support for virtualization on the new generation of Macs using the M1 processor, it only supports ARM-based virtual machines in this early preview of the software. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through all the necessary steps to creating a fully functional Windows 10 virtual machine on your M1 device. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So for the installation method, we want to select create a custom virtual machine and then continue. For OS, just select other 64-bit ARM, continue. If you don't have an existing virtual disk, just select create a new virtual disk, continue, and then customize settings. So here it's asking you where to store the virtual machine and then what name it should take on. So I'm just gonna name it Windows 10. Windows 10 Sire Preview, all right. And I'm gonna save it in this location. And now before it boots, because you clicked on customize settings, it's going to ask you to customize basically your settings for the virtual machine. So here you can just basically choose whatever you want according to your configuration, desired configuration, of course. So I'm just going to choose mine. And now, after you've changed your settings, what I want to do is I want to boot this up. And now, because I've set my boot sequence to default booting from USB, so it's going to boot from my USB installation media. Okay, now that we're in Windows setup, all that is left to do is basically the same as installing Windows on any computer. So you select your time and language and then wait for the product key page to launch and then select I don't have a product key and then select the build that you are going to install and agree to the terminal service as determined by Microsoft and then choose a disk to install your operating system on and now all that is left to do is wait at this step you can just sit back and relax and let the system do its thing And at this stage of the installation process is where you'll customize your settings for your operating system. So right keyboard input method, yes. That's good. Now for the network part, it's best for you to have an Ethernet cable that connects to an adapter that connects to your Mac. For that, you are going to want to press Control command to release your mouse from the guest operating system and go up the top menu and select the telephone icon and select connect this adapter. And you will see the Ethernet icon show up and then it will recognize the network and now it's connected. Just click next. Okay, after it checks for updates, it will ask you whether to set up for personal use or for an organization. And here you can choose whether to add your Microsoft account to this operating system or not. If not, you can choose offline account. But for me, I will just log into my Microsoft account for now. And here it will ask you to create an authentication method to sign in. For Microsoft accounts, it will ask you to create a PIN. 
and for offline accounts it's going to ask you to create a password and now you can select your privacy settings that's pretty standard windows 10 installation this is the part that may be new to some of you guys so this part of the windows 10 experience was just released with the 20h2 version of windows 10 and onwards so you might not have seen these but they are just basic preference settings for your operating system also some of you may have noticed that they've changed the font of the text that will appear on screen during this stage Speaking of prompts, it is appropriate to mention that it is recommended that you do not power down your virtual machine during this stage of the installation process. And there you go, you've arrived at the desktop of your new operating system. Now you can enjoy all the features of Windows 10 on ARM. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this pre-release version of this software is only a preview at what we are going to be getting in the full release that will come sometime next year. So things such as VMware Fusion tools and folder sharing won't be available in this experience yet. Hopefully they will get added to the software sometime next year during the final release. So that's it for this video, thank you guys for watching, I will see you in the next one, peace.